Your kidneys don't just clean your blood, they decide what your blood is allowed to be. Every second, they regulate volume, pressure, electrolytes, acidity, oxygen delivery, and they do it silently. Each kidney contains about 1 million nephrons microscopic processing units. Together, they produce a glomerular filtration rate of about 120 milliliters per minute. That means your entire plasma volume is filtered more than 60 times every day. But filtration is only the beginning. Inside the glomerulus, blood pressure forces fluid across a three-layer filtration barrier, fenestrated capillaries, a negatively charged basement membrane, and podocyte slit diaphragms. Water and small molecules pass. Blood cells and proteins stay behind. What enters the tubule is not urine, it's protein-free plasma. In the proximal tubule, the kidney performs bulk recovery. About 65% of sodium and water are reabsorbed. Nearly all glucose and amino acids are reclaimed. This is powered by the sodium-potassium ATPase, a molecular pump that burns ATP to pull essential substances back into the blood. Without this step, you would lose vital nutrients within hours. Next comes the loop of Henle, one of the most elegant systems in human physics. Physiology. The descending limb releases water, the ascending limb pumps salt but blocks water. This countercurrent design creates a deep osmotic gradient, allowing the kidneys to concentrate or dilute urine independently of filtration. This is how you survive dehydration and how you excrete excess water without losing control. Fine control happens in the distal tubule and collecting duct. Aldosterone adjusts sodium retention and potassium excretion, stabilizing blood volume and heart rhythm. Antidiuretic hormone increases water reabsorption in the kidney. It does this by inserting aquaporin water channels into the walls of the collecting duct. These channels allow water to move back into the bloodstream. This directly controls how much water is returned to circulation. Tiny hormonal changes here can raise or lower blood pressure. At the same time, the kidneys regulate acid-base balance. They excrete hydrogen ions, reclaim bicarbonate, and generate new buffers, keeping blood pH tightly near 7.4, where enzymes can function. But kidneys don't just respond, they signal. They release renin to control vascular tone, erythropoietin to match red blood cell production to oxygen demand, and activate vitamin D linking kidney function to bone strength. When kidneys fail, toxins accumulate, potassium rises, acid builds, blood pressure destabilizes, oxygen delivery falls, life doesn't end instantly, it loses regulation. Your kidneys are not filters, they are homeostatic command centers, and every heartbeat depends on them.